Hello everybody, this is Connie, and today I'm going to talk to you about the fifth book in the Mercy Thompson series by Patricia, Patricia Briggs. And if you want to know any more about Patricia, I will link the video that I talked, uh, talked about her in down below, in the um, down bar. My goodness, I can't even talk. I'm not showing my face today because I have no makeup on. And I'm just kind of being really lazy today. Today's Sunday. I have two days off. Or I had yesterday and today off. And I just didn't really feel like putting on a whole face of makeup today. So today you are just getting pictures. And I do apologize too about the picture quality. My ink is um, going on my printer. And I don't have the money to spend on ink right now. So... That's why the ink is, the picture is just a little off in color here. So let's get to this. The fourth book is called Bone Crossed. There's the book. It says a Mercy Thompson novel there. Number one New York Times best-selling author of Iron Kissed, which was the last book that we talked about. And here we go with Bone Crossed. Confidence is a funny thing for an author. You write the best book you can, hoping that somehow everything will work out and the readers will like it. As a beginning author with re rejection slips and unfavorable reviews, it is often hard to muster the courage to keep putting words on the page. I've been pretty lucky, but Cry Wolf kind of shook my confidence. I'm very happy with the results, but it took a while to get there. I've often... I've gotten used to the story working out right the first time. With Cry Wolf, I was re rewriting long after I should have been in the editing stage. So, it was a slightly apprehensive author who sat at the keyboard already months late and stared at the blank screen under the title Bone Crossed. I knew how the story started. I'd left a scene unfinished in Iron Kissed, closing the pages before the reader could see that what looked like a happy ending was actually as an author I sometimes feel like the wicked witch my job is to find some happy someone happily minding their own business and mess up their happy little lives until they're upset enough to get off their rump and go change something it's seldom a good thing in a character's life when the author looks at them and says you're happy aren't you my goodness, you're trying to slip off into quite happily ever after? Well, don't get too comfortable, my pretty, because I've got plans for your future. The evil cackle is optional, but of course, but I find it refreshing. <laughs> maybe it's being relatively pain-free following the back surgery. Maybe, maybe it's just that Mercy is such a fun character to write. Heck, maybe it's the helpful wee folks around the house. I don't know, but somehow the story worked like they're supposed to. The sentences flowing into the screen weren't all polished works of verbal art. Mine seldom are, but they told a great story. The characters, bless their little hearts, stayed in character. Nobody tried to get whiny or angsty or even too darn clever. It's just kind of fell onto the pages. I was as excited to see what happened next as any reader. That's how writing is supposed to happen, even though it's ve very seldom does. It's like playing jazz. Some days you're in a muddle trying to remember scales and modes, wondering if you feel, need an F or an F something, scale, and finding the answer is a hard, in the hard way. Other nights, you play and the music moves through you and you really don't care about the key because your fingers just know where to land. Those are the nights you remember. Bone Crossed was a good night and a much needed bolster to my confidence. It's not perfect. No book ever is. An author can always go back and second guess the decisions, find rough sentences and explanatory passages that could be improved, but it's a good book and it tells the story I intended to tell. What more can an author ask for? That was awesome. That was an awesome book, actually. I um, I, I can't recommend the series enough. It is just so darn good. So if you're looking for something to read that has a little bit of everything in it, um, love and hate and... Um, 
terror and happiness and, you know, all that stuff by this first book, by the first book in this series, Moon, Moon Called, I think it was. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you next, and we'll talk about book six. Bye-bye.